Message to the black male educator. When a young black student says, you look like my dad, at no point refute it in your mind or reject it with your posture. Don't strain your spine trying to distance yourself from the moment. Never abandon the memory. Remember, all the fathers missing. Third Sunday in June, the fathers away. Some love through the distance, transcending captivity, even death. Others fall off in early autumn with fertilization, never consider being an ancestor. Imagine the impact passion can have years after satisfaction, stacking generations. The first time a student told me, you look like my dad, I forgot. Blocked the awkward feeling till it happened again. The second time, I reacted like a child, ignoring the responsibility to respond with kindness, ignoring her plea for recognition. By the third, I had learned to accept the compliment. Because when a student says, you look like my dad, what they're trying to say is, you remind me of my origin. We are kin to the same creator. The idea they're trying to convey is, I love the source of your life. And isn't it difficult to look into another creature and to see your reflection? But it's important to foster that recognition of resemblance. So the next time a student tells me I look like their dad, I want to say, my daughter was born during a blizzard, the last hour of 2013. We named her Kuumba. After that day in all creation, Kuumba. Her first couple months, I took her to my arms to dance and sing. Every night, songs I wrote based on circadian rhythm emanating from scalp, transposing me into a greater poet. I want to tell that fragile student, when I look at you, I'm reminded of poems I admire but didn't compose. You sound like improvised music. I love you like a masterpiece, but that might be too... So the next time a student tells me I look like their dad, I'll just say thank you.